In the meantime, new Omicron outbreaks have forced China to extend its lockdown in Shanghai, one of the country's most critical areas. Among those trapped in that lockdown is a local merchant mariner from Santa Cruz County. NBC Bay Area Stephanie Magallon spoke with him and health experts about the situation there and what it may mean for a future surge here. In Shanghai, China, it's day four of the latest lockdown. Residents are home, businesses closed, and ships filled with merchant mariners. Kind of want to come home. Like Giancarlo Tome of Aptos are stuck. About 10 days ago, we had probably about 100, uh, 100 shipyard workers on board working with us. Uh, they were working until lunch, and then they got the call about the lockdown at lunchtime, and then everybody just left. The crew quickly learned that a new COVID surge had triggered a stay-at-home order for the massive city. There were acetylene torches just laying all over the place, unopened water bottles. It's like that scene in a comet movie where it's all of a sudden, boom, it's just a ghost town. Everybody's gone. Giancarlo and his team were supposed to be in shipyard for about 35 days. It's now been 45 days and counting. Since March 1st, China has reported around 90,000 new COVID infections, largely driven by the subvariant BA2, the same variant that now accounts for most cases in the U.S. Lockdowns might have worked for the original Wuhan variant. They might have even worked for Alpha and Delta, but they're not going to work for Omicron, and they're certainly not going to work for BA2 which is itself anywhere from 30 to 60 percent more transmissible than Omicron itself. With spring break around the corner and BA2 spreading, Dr. Peter Chin Hong says he suspects we'll see a surge in the coming weeks, but it won't be as significant as China's. Because China has actually done a great job until this point in protecting the population from natural infection, you see a situation where a lot of people are going to be vulnerable also, they've used different vaccines, which are not mRNA. Dr. Peter Chin Hong believes our hospitals will be okay during the next surge. However, we could see disruptions at work and school. Back in Shanghai, Giancarlo is left to wait it out, stuck by precautions meant to prevent bigger disruptions. In San Jose, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.